the I just want to kind of show you some of the things that happen sometimes with the files in Cricut or just files in general um, in Cricut or if you ever need to resize your file I just want to show you how easy it is to do that um, for our acrylic blanks so if you're familiar with Zindi when you buy an acrylic blank from us you get a zipped folder and in that zip folder there will be two files in it a DXF file and an SVG file for Cricut Design Space specifically, use the SVG file. 99% of the time, it is sized correctly. But if you're familiar with Cricut, you know crazy things can happen sometimes. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that on your own if you ever need to. Okay, so we have Cricut Design Space open. So let's go ahead and click Upload. Um, and this is where we're gonna upload our SVG. So I have several SVGs already uploaded. Normally when you upload the files, the majority of them will either look like this, where the image is nice and big, um, where you can see it all and it's already layered, or they'll look like this where it's more in two pieces. So both of those are completely normal. Um, sometimes Cricut does not like certain pieces of the file and it'll spread it out all over the place. So like this one is the chocolate covered strawberry and it looks like it's very, very small. The reason why it looks like that is Cricut Design Space absolutely hates the seeds on the strawberry. So it throws them all over the place. And so this little preview has the seeds around here. You just can't really see it, okay? So if that ever happens and it looks weird, just go ahead, add it to your canvas. And see, you can kind of see, you can see the seeds are here already. Let's zoom out. Okay, so we can kind of see more of what we have. So we're going to click that and we're going to ungroup, okay? Now we can pick the strawberry by itself and we can just make sure that it's the right size, which it is 1.47 inches by 2 inches. So Zindi blanks are measured by the longest side of the actual acrylic piece. So that could be the width or it could be the height. So in this case, it's the height, so two inches, and that is correct. So anytime you need to resize or check the, the sizes, one of the sizes, one of the sides will be what it's measured off of, and we keep it proportionally. Because if this was a two inch by two inch strawberry, it'd be a very, very chubby strawberry, okay? So if you ever get in a situation like this, and it looks like that, all you would do is ungroup, like I showed you, Click your actual actual image, make sure your shape, make sure it's the right size, which we did, it is. And you would just take your little seeds and you will just move them back in place. Either way, you're gonna be cutting them separately. So you don't actually have to move them back in place unless you're doing like a print and cut or something like that, okay? So that's just for your reference. If that ever happens, the file looks weird, most likely it's just Cricut spreading pieces out. It's usually little pieces like this that it likes to do that too. Okay, so now let me show you how to resize, okay? So we're gonna go back to upload and we're gonna do one of these where it's in two pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and get the sunflower. We're gonna add that to our canvas, okay? Now, you see when it opens, it says four inches by 2.02 .02 inches. It says that because it's measuring both pieces together, okay? So we're gonna take this, we're gonna ungroup it and we're gonna select just the sunflower part. The black piece or the background piece is the exact size of our acrylic. We include that in there not for you necessarily to cut your vinyl that size because it will be exactly the size of the shape and it's very likely to have overhang unless you place it and cut it a hundred percent precisely exact which is nearly impossible. So this is more just for design purposes and reference okay um, and for you to resize. You need this piece to be able to resize anything and make sure your sizes are correct okay. So this one is two inches, that's correct. Say for instance, I ordered um, two inch sunflowers and three inch sunflowers and I can't find my three inch file, but I need it and everybody's closed and I gotta fix it, okay? This is what you would do. You would take these detailed pieces and you would just layer that on top of your background piece, okay? So you want everything layered where the background piece is what it is measuring, okay? So our detail pieces are on top of our background piece and we're just gonna change the longest side to be three inches and that would be correct for our three inch acrylic. So if you look up here, you have your width right here and your height right here. So whatever side is the bigger number 
that's the one you want to change. Sometimes it'll be like 0 0.003 off or 0 0.001 off. That won't affect anything. That's so minuscule, it's not going to matter. Okay, um, it, you can see here that it rounds it to two inches because it's so close, okay? So you select it all, make sure your proportions are locked, okay? So right now it's locked or unlocked. Let me show you what happens if you unlock it, okay? Say we change this to three inches with it unlocked, it takes it all out of proportion. That won't work, okay? So we wanna undo that. We're gonna go back here, proportions are locked, change your height to three inches, and there you go. Now these pieces are the exact size that you need for a three inch acrylic blank, okay, from us. Now, um, real quick, say you really need to use this piece. You want a background color behind your sunflower, okay? What you would do, you can't just change the size of this slightly and it fit. It will change your proportions. These won't fit, okay? So you need to do it an offset, okay? Which is a mathematical way that it will make all of the shape uh, just a tiny bit smaller so that you can um, have acrylic edge around, okay? So you will select that piece and you will go to offset, okay? We want to do a negative offset, which is also called an inset. So you got a negative offset or inset. You can call it either one, okay? Your size, I usually stay between negative 0 0.02 to negative 0 0.03, okay? That's up to you on the look you want and how you want it to look. Um, but 0 .0, 0 0.02 is usually very safe um, for your offset, okay, your negative offset. So I'm gonna just slide this here, 0 0.08. Let's go make sure we're going negative because we want it smaller than the blank. Okay, 0 0.028. Now I don't know if you can see this in your screen or not, but you can see that it's slightly smaller than the blank, which is perfect. We're gonna click apply. Now we have a piece that's slightly smaller than our actual acrylic, which is great if you want to put resin, applying it to your blank, it gives you some wiggle room, okay? But it's also a little larger than our um, detail pieces, so if we want to make that black or whatever color, um, we can do that and have a layered uh, vinyl decal for our blank. Okay, so I hope that helps you understanding how to resize, um, locking proportions, and doing an offset or a negative offset. Um, also, if you're doing print and cut, it's really important to have some kind of offset or shape that's smaller than the blank, but bigger than your detail pieces to keep all of that together. Um, so for print and cut, the only thing you would want it to cut would be this outline shape, not all these little petals, okay? So I hope that helps you guys. If you have a silhouette, I'm gonna show you the same thing in silhouette, but a lot of you have cricket, so hopefully this helps. Y'all have a great, great rest of your day or night or afternoon, whatever time it is for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, don't forget to shop on Cindy. See y'all soon. Bye.